Hey guys, it's uh, Chris you're seeing here back from CNH Small Engine. I'm giving another review of the uh, previously mentioned uh, carburetors that uh, Cub Cadet and uh, MTD brands are putting on their machines since about 06, early 07, out there for that. Uh, this specific machine I got here in front of me, uh, this is very similar to the one that I made the previous video about. It's, it's actually a, uh, I think it's almost the same year as the other one up there, as I mentioned before, except uh, this one is a non self-propelled one as you see up in the handle it doesn't have a self-propelled cable it has the typical uh, choke style mechanisms that they have on these machines and some of the problems um, that they have on these uh, this specific machine here is these choke cables can get hung up by like your stuff you're cutting out in the grass and everything else out there and um, uh, these other spring mechanisms for your, your tensioner for your uh, governor down here as I let me show you down here these things can get caught on um, uh, grass, uh, I should say branches, sorry about that, grass and branches out in your yard out there. Because I've seen, I'd say probably about 10 of these last year, guys were cutting real thick uh, grass and they had some weeds and uh, they had a lot of um, uh, like low-lying branches and brushes and shrubs. They actually had stuff get up underneath here and it's like basically almost ripped this thing completely out of here because I had a gentleman last year, he was using almost this identical machine on his property for uh, maintenance and um, Somehow he managed to get a, uh, a big uh, branch, got the wedge up inside here. It, it just broke this thing completely out of here. And I had to replace this whole bracket assembly underneath here because this thing's basically exposed on the side of the engine right here where uh, most of the other brands, they have your, your tensioner spring. It's up in the back up here or your side or something. It, it, it's not out in, the, out in the open as this one is right here for that. And because that, it can get hung up on a lot more things. That, that's why they usually have this, uh, this plate see this plate right down here I'm missing that's why I have this plate it's almost like a guard underneath to keep that in there and uh, be aware of that as well too because if you're cutting your grass and you got a lot of shrubs near the ground that they're for that and um, stuff can go like right alongside underneath here and just hang up right in there and your engine can like rev up real, real high real quickly and possibly blow your engine up if you don't uh, watch it out there for that or it can possibly damage it the other way and your engine just like stalls out and dies out and this spring get bent up pretty bad under four of that and sometimes this whole bracket might get um, damaged because you got, might get a stick jammed up inside there as well too because uh, most brands like Tecumseh and stuff like that they get their governors or uh, so the, the governor spring or apparatus on top of the engine way up on top here so it's completely out of the way so it's almost impossible for anything to get to get jammed up in there for that uh, these ones do not have that they're similar to the uh, Honda style engines out there for that and they have it similar to the Honda setup but it's not the exact same thing I me mean, personally I, I got a Honda HRC uh, 261 my machine my, my, myself and I really love it I never had any problems whatsoever with the the governor over speeding because of uh, crap getting down inside there because the governor rod and the spring and all that other crap and anything else is uh, more pushed towards the engine so it's completely out of the way so if something ever does get along down here it's not going to really get affected either for that and the other thing is on these uh, specific machines let me get my flashlight over here and show you on here as well too uh, you got a lot of governor, or not, not a lot of governor, sorry about that. You got a lot of um, gaskets down inside here. Let me show you here. You got one gasket, two gaskets. You get the big uh, uh, black, um, it's like an insulator block right there. Plus, you have a gasket behind it on here as well, too. And anytime you replace these carbers and machines, it's uh, imperative that you must replace all gaskets in, in the intake system because if you don't, you might have an air leak possibly pop up because of that because uh, you don't want to reuse the same gases in there because they might not seal right and you see this real big one right here this real big shiny uh, silver one right here I'm showing you uh, that one basically mates right to the uh, intake side of the carburetor right there and if that thing's not completely flat and it's like actually pulled apart from whenever you took the original carburetor off there you can have uh, air leaks getting leaked around right there for that so it's always imperative that whenever you do a job on these machines you take the carburetor apart and stuff like that always have the the gaskets replaced on here for that and these gaskets are about let me, let me show you here I got a picture I got a few of them down here uh, these ones right here you can see them these are various this is like the intake on the outside air box this one right here is on the intake side where the other uh, uh, the therm I, I call it the thermal block because basically it's a gasket it's that big black plastic piece right there it, it acts as a barrier between the engine and a carburetor 
Uh, you have that one right there as well too. This one goes on the outside of the airbox mostly because it looks like a Honda style uh, clone of the Honda style engine. It's typically like for like a 5.5, 6.5 horsepower. And this one goes behind the carburetor on those air block parts back here. And this one goes on the carburetor sometimes. They have a couple of different variations of these out here as well too. And this one's a similar, it's probably, it's probably identical right here. Let me see here. Yeah, they might actually have two of these things on it. One and one and each each side of the uh, big black uh, block, the uh, heat radiance on our four of that. And this is similar to that one right here because they do make different uh, types of these right here for that, for different MTDs out there. So you got various types. These are your typical, as I said before, your intake side where your carburetor mates up to your air blocks right here. That's where those go. And these two right here uh, most definitely go behind the black plastic uh, block right there. Some other ones might have a uh, more like a thermostatic um, uh, choke system. This one does on it. It just has a typical um, choke for the manual pull up there for that. So you don't have to worry about having any gaskets on that thing as well too because some of them have an automatic choke and you may have more gaskets you, than you might need. This one right here, let me show you down here again. This is similar to these ones right here, but um, these ones, they may go on the back of your carburetor as opposed to the ones that this one has on here, because they do have different variations of these Chinese MTD engines out there. So you might have one of these on each, each end of the black um, thermo uh, coupling, or you might have one of these right here that go on the back of the carburetor and just have, have like another uh, thinner thick gas in our for that so they do have different variations of these uh, intake systems on our for it so most of these kits that they have out there are it's almost like a generalized uh, kit that they have it, it, it basically use the same partner for the carburetor except they have different gaskets and stuff like that for each uh, specific machine out there so if they put all the gaskets in your one kit you don't have to uh, go fishing around for more gasket parts out there for that so that's a review of your typical intake and stuff like that that you can have problems with on these various machines as I mentioned with these O-Red Valve engines out of these Cup Cadet O-Red Valve. Let me show you up here again. That's a typical one they make right now that uh, most people don't understand about the Chinese quality for that. So as always be prepared, be, be knowledgeable on your machine and know what you're buying and know what you're servicing out there as well too. And uh, the other thing is these these get or I should say these air boxes uh, do warp from time to time on her. I actually seen one that were like almost like bent inwards on her because of the heat coming off the engine or somebody dropped something on it for that as well too. So always keep an eye on your gas air box gas because sometimes these things can leak around the edges around here and the bottom and the top and um, just make sure they're always sealing right because if it ain't sealing right and you let air, um, bad air go past on there, you'll regret it because you might screw your internals of your engine up as well too. So, anybody have any questions, comments, whatnot, as usual, you can leave me a, leave a message here on my page or you can call me if you know my phone number. I'll see you guys.